guys, what's up? Um, okay, so I have been out for a little while, so I've got a lot of boxes to show you today, but um, I know since I have been out a little while, some of you may not know, um, about a week and a half ago, my grandmother did pass away, so I've just I've been spending a lot of time with my family, um, mainly my parents. So I haven't really been home a lot lately. Um, I've had so, so many of you guys, especially on Instagram, because I haven't been on here recently to um, really talk to you guys, but I've had so many of you guys um, just send me your thoughts and prayers, and it's just been so, so sweet. I just really appreciate that so much. But um, I'm really trying to get into um, my boxes now and really try and get some demos out because I've got a lot that I want to show you guys. And of course, I miss my baths because they're just, they relax me so much and of course really help with the tension and I've got kind of a lot of that going on right now. But um, so let's just go ahead and get into this because um, I've got, I think, four boxes to show you. So, um, and it's just really awesome stuff. So let's just go ahead and get into that. And um, think happy thoughts. <laughs> okay, so anyway, this one is, I think, the first one I got before um, I was kind of taken away from home for a little while. But this one is from Fizz the Love. And I'm just so thrilled to get something from Rachel because this is my um, first box from her. And I've seen her stuff all over YouTube and all over Instagram. And um, <clears throat> This is my first box from her, and her stuff is just, it looks absolutely beautiful. And I wanted to show you her box, if I could, because her packaging just looks absolutely beautiful from what I can tell, too. So, here is her card. And I don't know how much of this I can get under my camera because it's so low, but... Um, See what we can do with this okay so it looks like it's packaged super super securely so it's got a lot of this um, just little air packets in there all right now oh so pretty okay look this is just totally 100% a, a Christmas gift look at it it's gorgeous Okay, so there's one more in here, so I'm just going to take both of these out, and I'm going to move the box behind me. Look at those. Those are gorgeous. They're just ready to put under, under the tree. Gorgeous. Okay. I, like I don't even want to open them. Of course I will, but... Uh, so, if for some reason you need Christmas gifts, you could order these, put them straight under the tree, or hand them to someone else, and you're ready to go. Okay. Um, oh, God, they're just so pretty. Um, let's see. Oh, let's see. What should I do? Should I grab my scissors? I think I can do this. Okay, okay, okay. And I can tell that under this tissue paper that there is um, bubble wrap. And she's just the sweetest girl, too, because I've talked to her. I've had a little dialogue going with her for a little while, and I just haven't been able to... Um, order anything from her until now and um, I had so much for Halloween I decided I really need to try some other vendors that I've been looking at for a while for Christmas and then when I saw these I thought oh my goodness I've got to have some fizzle love for Christmas okay So if this becomes too lengthy because I do have so much to unbox for you guys, I may split this video up, this video up into two parts. We will see. I think uh, I think we're gonna die when we see this, you guys. I haven't seen anyone unbox or demo these two that I have, so um, I just can't wait. I cannot wait. Oh my gosh, no, oh my gosh, look, look at it, oh my gosh, oh my goodness gracious, let's see, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Rachel, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay, 
you guys, okay, I'm pretty sure this, let me see. I'm pretty sure that this is two pounds, almost two pounds, something like that. It's huge. Look at it, look how big it is. Look how beautiful this is. This is frosty, this is our frosty. It's beautiful. I wish I could look at it longer than I'm going to because I know I can't wait to pop it in the tub, but look how beautiful it is. And of course that's hand painted. Now she did ask me what scent I wanted this in and I just kind of gave her my preferences and she scented this in bubblegum, cotton candy, and blue slushy. And you guys know how I feel about the sweet scents, the fruity scents, the foodie scents, candy scents. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, I talked to her about these right before um, my grandmother passed. So I, these came in like just a couple days after. So this box has been sitting here for a week and I hate that that I've had to let it sit and I haven't been able to get into it. And I've been wondering, oh my gosh, what do these look like? And I can't wait to get into them, but I just haven't been able to. And I, she was so, so sweet. And um, just kind of, you know, being patient. And because you know when you make something for somebody and you send it to them, you want to, you know, you want to see their reaction. And you hope that they're pleased. And it's just gorgeous. I cannot wait to use it. Thank you so much. You're such a dear and such a talent. Oh my goodness. That is so, so cool. Okay. Next, I'm sure this one will be equally as amazing. I'm so excited about these. Okay. And she has all kinds of bath bombs on her site. I mean, she just seems to be always stocked and um, just always just coming out with new things. She seems to be super creative and super talented, so. I'm just happy to finally go ahead and have something of hers for myself. Okay. This is the other one I just had to have. And these are just, they're so secure that I just don't, I don't even see the tape. Okay. To know where to get into. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And I can already smell it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at it. Oh my gosh, guys. It's like, I don't even have any words for this. Look at how gorgeous that is. I hope there's not too much glare because it is, looks like it's on a silver paper wrapped board. And it's just this gorgeous, gorgeous silvery light blue snowflake. This is going to be absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. Now that smells familiar. Okay. Blueberry candied citrus fruits and grapefruit. Oh. And this says no two are like, obviously, snowflakes. That's how they are. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a little hole in it. I see where it was like shrink wrapped. That's, why, that's how I can smell it so well. This is absolutely gorgeous, and this one is huge, too, and I'm not exactly sure how much it weighs. Oh, this one's 28 ounces. Okay, that one's 28 ounces. This one seems super fragile, and this one is also 28 ounces. Okay, so I might cut this video here and then go back and grab another box and clear out my counter, because these are just, it almost takes up my whole counter. But anyway, so this is Fizz the Love, and these are just absolutely beautiful, and the scents for me are amazing. Thank you so much, Rachel. I just am thrilled they're absolutely beautiful. So I'll be right back. Okay, so next I have, um, I don't have the box for this um, anymore. I did toss it, but I also wanted to show you guys, I have two items from Rockin' Oil, and these just are adorable. Okay, so these are the holiday lights. Look how cute they are. They're three separate bath bombs so you can use them all together or you could use them separately I think they are just so cute okay so they have little strings and you can dip them into your bath water and watch them dissolve or you can just put them in and just kind of let them float around I may use two depending on what color of the water I want but the name 
of this one is Home for the Holidays. And these should still be available in the Rock and Oil shop. And the scent on this one is peppermint, winter spruce, and cranberries with citrus peel. It smells really, really good, and I just think these are absolutely adorable. <clears throat> now, this little snowflake is called Winter Wonderland. It's really, really pretty. And this one is ginger ale, grapefruit, orange, and peach. So this is kind of like, it's got that fizzy scent behind it. So it's kind of like a wintry, effervescent kind of citrus. So I think that this one is going to smell really good. And I just, I love rock and oil. So I really, really appreciate that. Um, she just sent me this out of the blue, just a little surprise box. And I just think that that's just so sweet. She told me that a little elf sent it to me. So I thought that was super sweet. Okay, now this one is from Harper Homemade. And of course, here is her card. And this one, and it says, thanks for your order. And this one, one of these is one, um, I'll save this one for just a second. This one, one of these is a reorder. Um, the demo I did, it was for Halloween, because I haven't gotten any Christmas ones out yet, unfortunately. The Spice Bath Soak, the orange with the little pumpkins, it's pretty much a pumpkin spice scent. It says vanilla, spice, and toasted pumpkin. Um, kind of uh, with a cidery scent as well. Smells so delicious. And this is enough for three baths. And I have actually a little bit left over from last time. I definitely wanted to get another one of these before the season was out because they are seasonal. I think she they're sold out right now. So I'm not sure if she's going to make another batch throughout the end of December and they'll be available one more time. I'm not sure, but I wanted to make sure and get one more because it's an awesome, awesome pumpkin spice scent. Um, and this one is called Bad Santa. It's adorable. It's got the little Santa belt on it. And let me find that description for you. That scent description is... It is firewood and strawberry. And I think that this is going to be super interesting as far as um, the scent goes. And hers it can be complex sometimes, and I think they're really, really pretty. But... Um, the firewood is not something I typically go for, but since it's wintry and it's got the strawberry in it, I think it's going to be really cool. But the show, I've seen her demo of it on her Facebook and Instagram page, and I think it's going to look really cool. So I'm excited about this, so I had to have it. And I knew that I was going to reorder this anyway, so this is what I put in my cart. So I've got these. So I think that was a perfect little order from Harper Homemade. Next, we have... Mild Standby Sweet Shop of Horrors. Okay, so I only have a couple of things in here too. I should only have a few things in here from Talia this time. She's such a sweetheart. Here is her card as usual. You've seen it on my channel many, many times at this point. So let me find my notes for these scents. Okay. through all these little packing peanuts. Okay, 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 yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm really, this is adorable. Okay, now I asked her to throw this in at the last minute because sometimes when I order from Talia, I know I've, I've ordered and I've picked out what I wanted and I've paid and she'll throw something brand new out on her Instagram and I'll be like, girl, have you not, if you have not gotten my order out, I need to add something else in, and this is one of those items. So I think what happened was she said, well, they're actually not ready yet. I haven't put them out on my website, but I will give you this one, like the first one that I took the picture of to say coming soon. So this is actually in a different scent than the ones that were for sale on the website when they went live. So this is her iced cranberry ornament. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Take that back. I screw up sometimes. This is Deck the Halls. How cute is that? It's a Christmas ornament. It's got little black bats on it. It's sparkly. Oh, when I saw it, I thought that's just the cutest thing ever. I love it. Look, it's just totally a Christmas ornament. 
anyway, so she's like, okay, but it's not scented in the iced cranberry. It's scented in Fruit Loops. And I said, I don't care. Just stick it in my bag. So um, that's what she did. So sometimes if I'm just, I have to have something that quick and I say, add it in. Sometimes I get the prototype, <laughs> which is fine with me. It's great. It's perfect. So anyway, I think actually when these did go live, they went out, they sold out so quickly that um, they are sold out now but that doesn't mean she won't make them again. So I'm not sure, and she'll usually comment down below and let us know. But anyway, this is so fragrant right now, all I can smell is Fruit Loops and it's awesome. So I'm sure um, the iced cranberry is just as awesome. But anyway, look at the little box it came in. How adorable, just like a real Christmas ornament. So anyway, so that's my Deck the Halls ornament from Sweet Shovel Pours. And then we have, oh God, these are so cute. These are gonna be so, so cute. Okay, I think, I think these are, let's see. I don't wanna speak too soon, I could be wrong. Let's see. Oh no, I know what this is. <gasps> Yay, okay. Gosh, I hope this is okay. I hope this is okay. Oh my gosh. Look. Okay. This is Twas the Night. This looks like a snow globe bath bomb. It's gorgeous. It's hand painted. It just it's just gorgeous. You take the little top off and you put it down in your bath or you could take the whole thing out. It's hand painted. Look at that. Look how gorgeous it is. Obviously it's um, Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> um, so this is scented in white tea and bergamot. I love her so much because she comes up with these things that I could, I've never seen anything remotely like this. And she just, she's so imaginative and so creative. And look at that talent. It's just so freaking cool. So this is one, when I saw it, I just, I knew I had to have it. It's just, it's awesome. Okay, so somehow I've gotten a little bit of dust on the counter. Okay. But I didn't get to smell it. Hang on. Now well, I'm afraid oh, I can't really smell it that well. I can't I can't smell it that well. Okay, so I'm not gonna mess with that. I don't want that looks fragile and very very special, so I don't want to mess with that. Okay, I think I think I just might have a couple more things in here. Let's see, girl. Well, it looks like I might have two of these. I did. I got two of these. Okay. Then I assume, and y'all, you know, I don't have the best memory anyway, but evidently I thought these were so special that I ordered two because um, I thought I'll put one in a giveaway. I know that's what I thought. So I got two. Yay. Okay. And these, they're just sitting in this little tray. So that's why there's a little bit of dust coming out of this bag. So that's where that's coming from. And I do have a couple more things in here that I'm trying, trying, doing my best to um, stockpile a few things for Christmas giveaway. Now I don't know when that will be and I don't know how large that will be because I'm kind of off schedule right now. But, okay, so I should have two more things in here. Oh my gosh, look at that little bag. Okay, now this would be reindeer games. I know what this is now because the process of elimination tells me that this two little bitten off Rudolph noses, that's how she described these. How cute. Now these are just two little mini bath bombs and they're red and they're sparkly and they are scented in Bite Me, which is one of my very, very favorite scents. So I can't smell. There's, these are super, super, um, shrink wrapped. Um, so I can't smell these actually through the wrapper, but, um, so I got two of these. 
I got two of these. So I don't know yet if I'll be giving the other one away because, um, or maybe whom I'll be giving it away to, maybe a Christmas gift. But these are just absolutely adorable how <laughs> these are packaged. And I just think they're really cute. The little concept of uh, Rudolph got his nose bitten off by Vixen was the way she described that. So I just think it's adorable. Okay, so the other one is down in here. And we won't even open that up because we've already seen what that is. Okay, so I think that that is it for Sweet Shop of Horrors. Okay. So let's just cut this here and we'll go to the next box. Okay, so this is my last box and this one is from Witch Baby. So this is my holiday order. I don't intend on purchasing from Witch Baby anymore depending on what they come out with. Now, if for some reason she gets in or she restocks or makes the Bury Me With Diamonds this year, I will be all over it. I will order half a dozen. That is my very, very favorite Witch Baby bath bomb. I'm disappointed that that hasn't come out again this holiday season. I know that she did do a throwback Thursday at some point this year. Um, I, I missed that and I'm seriously disappointed in that. Um, but anyway, so this actually, uh, Witch Baby was one of my very first um, any companies that I started ordering from last Christmas, but I was so far into the tail end of Christmas that these, some of these were some scents that I missed out on that were sold out. So um, I really wanted to get to try some of these this year that came back from last year. So that being said, because um, I don't know, which babies just, if they're not my favorite, but I just really wanted to try these because I missed out on them last year and I just kind of felt like you know, I needed to try them. Okay, well that's cute. I haven't really seen, I don't, oh, it's a sticker. Okay, that's a sticker. And then of course, um, there's the card. And it's the same little card that it's always been as far as since I've been ordering with a 5% off. Um, okay, so, um, let me get all these out first because they're all, they should, most of them, the coffins be in boxes. Something smells good. Okay, these are the same and those are the same. down in here either I'm missing it or I've been missing it maybe the samples just aren't coming in orders anymore um, I don't know you guys tell me are we still getting samples in which baby orders it's I seem to be missing mine the last couple orders but anyway okay um so we'll start with these all right so I just ordered the Hallamus bath bomb I did not order it during the Halloween season because I didn't there wasn't really anything else I was interested in during that time. Um, so I was lucky enough that they still had these available. I don't think they're available anymore, but it seems like I did purchase um, this last year and I enjoyed it. So I did want another one. Um, the, the green one, I think it was just, um, I don't think it was Throwback Thursday. I think it was just a special edition, but that had the vanilla cake in it. Um, it looked really good. Like I really would have liked that one, it, probably even instead, but I missed out on that. To me, with Witch Baby, if you aren't stalking the site, which I guess a lot of them are, are like that, and you're just just not kind of on their calendar just all the time, then if you're like, one day, you'll miss it. It's gone. Never coming back. Um, so anyway, I got this one, even though it's not Christmassy. And then I got this one, which is 24 Carat Cake Bath Bomb. Okay, so this one is really pretty and gold and shimmery. And this one, I didn't tell you, but this is the, um, it's bourbon vanilla and, sorry, let me back up. Okay, it's bourbon vanilla and pumpkin spice. But if you've ever bought from Witch Baby or you've probably already had this, you probably already know that and it smells really good. Okay. 
So this one is the 24 karat cake and um, this one is vanilla cake, chamomile, and powdered sugar. And it's teeny, teeny, tiny, but um, I don't know, it's probably only, oh, three ounces, okay. Yeah, that's kind of small. It's really cute, um, but I thought I'd try it. The scent sounded really, really nice, so I don't know, maybe even cocktail it with something else, but I thought it was cute. And then this one is the Old Saint Witch. Now, the only thing they had left last year in the scent was the solid perfume. So I do have the solid perfume in this scent, and I thought it was okay. But um, I thought maybe I would like it better in the bath bomb form instead of the solid perfume. So I did want to go ahead um, and try the bath bomb. I don't know. It still may not be for me, but it looks like it'll have pretty colors. So anyway, we'll see. So I wanted to go ahead and order it anyway. Okay, so these two, um, I'm assuming this one is the Black Christmas. So I got Black Christmas and I got the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is another one from last year, that scent that I didn't ever get to try. The one I liked, one of the ones I did get to try last year, not in the bath bomb, um, all that was left was the soap, was the, um, oh, what's it called? It was, um, hmm. Oh, I can't think of it right now. It had some amaretto and pineapple. I'll think of it in a second. All I can think of is fruit cake in my head right now, and that's certainly not right. Ooh, this is pretty. Really pretty color. Okay, so this is the Holy Ghost bath bomb, and it is red and green. It's layered. So I think that this bath art is gonna be pretty. It should be pretty. And the scent on this one is, it says it is Italian pastry, sugared pistachios, amaretto, and candied cranberry. Ooh, I think this one smells good. I think this one is pretty sweet. Which Baby doesn't also have a lot of sweet scents, which is also may be the reason it's not personally maybe my favorite. Oh, I think that smells pretty good. Okay, so I've got two of those, and also this one is the Black Christmas. So this Black Christmas, I think, now you correct me if I'm wrong because I know there are a lot of really big Witch Baby fans out there. I think that this one was the one offered on Black Friday last year, and I also missed out on that. But I don't think that this one looks the same as it did last year. I think it's probably the same scent, but I don't think it looks the same. And I think last year it looked maybe a little more purple or black, and I think it had a lot of silver luster on top. This one looks, um, it's really pretty color. I know there's so much glare. Um, it's a really, really pretty blue. Um, I can't put my finger on exactly what color blue. It's really, really pretty, and I think it's supposed to turn the water either a midnight blue or black, and it's a spiced orange scent. And I made sure to get two of these because I really wanted this one last year and I missed out on it. Oh, this is very, um, very cidery. Spiced cider. That smells really good. I like this one too. So I'm not sure about this one. And this one's just teeny tiny, but these seem like I really might like those. So anyway, I think that's all I have. <laughs> I think that's all I've got for you guys. So um, hopefully I can take a picture of, um, of all these all together as far as a haul goes or a week's worth of orders in the mail. But anyway, so that's a lot of stuff and I think that all of it looks really cool. Um, like I said, I appreciate y'all still hanging around and watching me and being patient and waiting for me to kind of get back into things. And so I'm gonna try and get some demos done soon, but it is Tuesday before Thanksgiving. I don't know if I can get this out tonight. Hopefully it will definitely be out tomorrow. But um, I know you guys are gonna be visiting with family and be cooking and things like that. So I don't know how much you're even gonna be watching YouTube. But um, maybe this weekend, if you're not all shopping or maybe you will be online watching YouTube, I will be able to get some demos out for you to see uh, some of these awesome Christmas bath bombs. So anyway, happy holidays. I really, I miss you guys. And um, I tell you what though, let me know 
which ones of these you are most interested in seeing because I really do um, at this point have a hard time deciding which ones I'm going to do. So let me know down below which ones you'd like to see the most and that will help me out. Thanks a lot you guys. See you later. Bye bye.